Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast review, another 170 second scale armor review as you can obviously see by this tank I'm holding. And uh, this particular tank we have here is a Leopard 2 A5. And uh, these were originally produced by West Germany and uh, they ended service in 1979, replacing obviously the old Leopard ones. And they were produced from 1979 and they are still in production. And uh, there are around 3,600 tanks made in all variants as so far. And this particular variant is the A5 variant. And it is one of the uh, 28 German Leopards sent to Kosovo in 1999 as part of the KFOR, or Kosovo Force, the KFOR Force. And uh, this is a very nice uh, looking unit for sure. And obviously it does have some details of that, uh, where it was sent and everything like that. So, and this one is from a year 2000 of course and it is no good uh in this acrylic case we've got to get this open and get our get our little hands on it so what we'll do is we'll uh we'll try and get this case open if it'll allow us a little bit of grace to do that we'll get some tape off there and pull that open i'll do it as awkward as possible wow this looks cool <laughs> uh this does look cool now, of course, the uh, the A5 variant does have the 120mm uh, smoothbore L44 cannon there. It's a little bit shorter than the uh, modern-day variant. That looks awesome. I really love this colour scheme. That camouflage is uh, applied very beautifully. Um, it has got some great detail. This is very nice. I, I really just can't get over how good these uh, D'Agostini 172nd scale tanks are um, for the price. I mean, not as good as, I suppose, the Dragon armor you can get. But boy, for the price, um, they are not far off. They may not have the little highlighting and the uh, really extra little detailed parts, but these are very nice, and I am definitely pretty happy with adding these to my collection. Hopefully, uh, you will be too if you are collecting these. Or have yet to start collecting and checking these videos out to see if you want to i um i definitely recommend they they are very nice the turret moves beautifully without a drama that is a massive turret <laughs> does that 120 millimeter elevate let's see yes there is some elevation in that cannon of course not, not a huge amount but uh tanks aren't shooting high up into the sky <laughs> but i reckon the details on this very nice i am definitely very happy it's got a lot of smoke launches there on the side. That MG up on top of the turret there looks nice. The, the tracks look pretty good for this uh, as well. And a little bit of uh, tow cable stowage on the back. Yeah, that's no, definitely another, another cool looking unit for sure. I am definitely very happy with this. Hopefully uh, you are as well if you are collecting these. So uh, yeah, all right, we'll wind this video up of course. We'll. Uh, as I say, we keep these short and sweet for the uh, 170 second scale armor reviews. So, of course, this is 170 second scale diecast. It is uh, from D'Agostini, their uh, combat tanks collection. Uh, normally, these come with a magazine and everything like that, uh, but I did buy this one uh, loose, as you saw. And I reckon it is another great little uh, unit uh, released by them. And, uh, you know, for, for budget wise and money, uh, these are great value. All right, if you like this as much as me, throw us one of those. If you uh, can spare the time to click that little button below. If you like this, hey, mention that in the comments too. Feel free to comment whenever you feel like it. Feel free to subscribe to the channel as well if you uh, are enjoying uh, our little 172nd scale diecast armor reviews, as well as our other stuff as well. You saw the pictures at the start. Check out this on the turntable without my fat ass fingers all over it and sausage finger test. This is reasonably uh, large, um, I suppose, compared to World War II tanks. This is quite a large tank. All right, guys, thank you once again for spending your valuable time in checking out another one of our armored reviews, and I hope you did enjoy it. So thanks very much for coming, and you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.